Well, not the best conditions out here this morning. Overcast, gusts of wind, potential rain. Maybe not the best conditions for landscape photography. But truly, some of the best images I've seen were moody images captured in conditions similar to this. Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. Thought I'd come down to Broken Bow Lake this morning and see what kind of image I could capture. I came down yesterday and scoped out a potential composition. So I'm back here this morning to see what I can make of that. I don't think I'm gonna get the conditions that I, the ideal conditions I should say that I have in my mind, but you know what? I'm gonna take what I can get and try to make the best image I can. So come with me and let's see what we can do. some movement in the clouds and you know sometimes you can make that work to your advantage I mean you can do a long exposure and kind of streak clouds across the sky and add some drama to your image but really on this particular one I, I think uh, the thing to keep in mind is that it's kind of like surfing you have to look you have to wait for your set not that I know anything about surfing but anyway I watch TV like everybody else. But uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's kind of, you're, you're waiting for those, those clouds to roll in that are the right texture and the right contrast that you want. Because sometimes I think you see, or at least I see images online, and I've done it myself, where I see a, a fantastic image and it's just the clouds. There, there just wasn't balance in the clouds. Or they would have just waited a couple more seconds or if I'd have waited a couple more seconds. I could have let the clouds drift over a little bit more and just brought a little bit more balance to the image. And I think that sometimes you just have to, just have to wait and pay attention to your composition. You always talk about rule of thirds. That's one thing, rule of thirds, placement of subject, placement of interesting objects in the frame, you know, looking for diagonals and ways to, to bring leading lines into an image. All of those are great things when it comes to making a composition work. So. And I think when you're at a scene, the best that you can do is just take a moment, relax, and look around. Look for uh, you know some of these bottles and cans that are laying in your image that you could easily take out uh, instead of taking out and post-processing later in Photoshop. Much easier, easier to remove them now. You know, another tip I would give you, and I know I've mentioned this before, and if you watch my videos, you've probably heard me say this before, but when you have gusts of wind, even though wind is light, it can still it can still cause motion blur in your image and you, you know i'm not a fan of that so uh, one of the things you could do is just kind of time the wind watch it watch the leaves kind of moving and just wait for your moment you know it's it's i hate, I hate to come back to that surfing analogy but you got to wait for your set so you're waiting for the all the compositional elements to line up the waves the clouds the texture the movement, the contrast of the clouds, where you want them in the frame, placement of objects, and then you've got a little wind, so you're just kind of waiting for everything to align, and that wind will just kind of come down a little bit, and then bam, that's when you get your, uh, get your image and you get everything sharp in your image. And then if you're focus stacking, uh, like I am here, so I'm really focusing on this, this uh, tree trunk here, and then again, back on the trees, I'm shooting about 24 millimeters, really and truly hyperfocal distance. I think the stump really gets it for me and everything's in acceptably sharp focus. However, I wanna make sure. So digital images are cheap. I'm gonna take a couple images and uh, stack them if I need them. But if you are stacking, remember to take your frames really close together. So you don't wanna take a, a frame in the, in the foreground and wait a little bit and then uh, you know just kind of take your time and leisurely take the frame in the background. Then when you go to blend them together, you've got some things that have moved and it makes it much harder to blend it. So the quicker that you can capture those two images together or three images, the better. So just another tip for you. Well, standing here waiting on my set, as I'd mentioned before, maybe we should call this photography surfing. Surfing landscape photography. Landscape photography surfer. I don't know, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, I was uh, waiting on my set and uh, looking at the clouds. And one of the things I'm really paying attention to is, is the, not so much the texture. I mean, the clouds are okay, and I think I can kind of bring out what I'm seeing here in Lightroom, but it's the contrast. 
the, the color, the darker clouds versus the whiter clouds. And, and I, I really want to capture an image that's got a good mix, or I should say some, some really dark clouds in the center. Those black, heavier, you know, darker clouds will, will help bring some contrast to the image. And that's really what I'm kind of hoping for. I'm also hoping for some good light, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that. But you never know. It's kind of close to the composition I was looking at earlier. Kind of this, these rocks here, these edges providing leading lines and just kind of leading the viewer up into some of the fall colors you can see and then eh, somewhat of a fall tree, but more green than anything. But uh, that was kind of my, my vision. I really need a little bit more color in that sky right there. I'd like to have it anyway, but I'm gonna shoot this anyway. I was just going to tell you another tip I would give you is if you change up compositions like this, be mindful where your bags are at because you can get your bags in the image too. And also if you're carrying your tripod like this, not a big fan of that, make sure everything's locked down tight and hold the lens down. That way you don't snag it with a tree branch and scratch a lens. Looks better through the viewfinder than it does on the LCD. And I can't really get any real contrast in the clouds. There's not much sky in the image, but I was hoping for some warm light on the, uh, on, well, honestly, on the whole image. I'm not going to get that. So not going to be the image that I wanted. And the, uh, the lake is down really low, and I doubt I'll get another opportunity, or at least not another opportunity for some time, maybe years, to get this composition. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture what I have. Just gotta ride the wave. I'm shooting this at F11 at about a fourth of a second. And ISO 64, you can make good clean image. But I wanna make sure that whatever detail is in that sky, that I do capture it. So I'm, I'm gonna focus stack, I'm gonna focus on the immediate foreground and then focus a little bit back into the trees, two exposures, and blend them and make sure that I'm exposed to the right, but not too far so that I've got detail in that sky. So I can, uh, if I have to use a luminosity mask and brush, brush that in in Photoshop. But it's all about options, having options when you get back to post. That's what's important. Well, nice and calm, no wind. I guess that's it for me though. I'm gonna pack up and head out. So, uh, but uh, hope, hopefully I was able to throw you a few tips that might be beneficial and maybe you can put those in your kit and use them later when you need them. So, hey, but uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And drop me a comment, let me know what you thought. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail. Well, it certainly wasn't the best morning for landscape photography, although I was optimistic. That warm morning light never materialized. And despite my best efforts in post-processing, the image just didn't measure up to the vision, the vision that I had on that dreary morning. But I know I have to return. I have to return to capture those, those vibrant fall colors that I know are there and capture them under more favorable lighting conditions. Well, I thought this image was a good idea at the time, but after spending a bit of quality time in post-processing, I realized it was an abysmal failure. Without the right light, there's simply no way this image can meet my expectations. However, even under ideal lighting conditions, I feel the composition is off balance and, and it lacks a clear main subject. I find my eyes bouncing back and forth between the tree and the stump. And on top of that, I find the converging parallel lines between the horizon and the, and the rock formation just very distracting. Who knows? Perhaps I'll return to this composition one day and try to improve on it, but I don't think so.